Hey, beautiful people. I hope that everyone is having a blessed day. Of course, I hope you're having a blessed day as well. Well, as you can see, I'm in cam I got my camouflage background and I'm in disguise, y'all. Because I am back with another scammer. It's a short video, so please watch in its entirety. And I appreciate you all. I really, really do. Uh, this, this gentleman, he calls my house quite frequently on my landline. Please, you all know that um, if you have a credit card, the credit card um, that you have, the person, the agency that you have a credit card with will not call you and ask for the credit card number in order to reduce or take away your debt, your credit card debt. Please know that. Okay, and for any and every one of you out there that has ever been scammed or has had a loved one scammed before, or has had a loved one scammed before, this video is dedicated to you. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And I hope that you're taking heed on these videos, these scammers. Let's go ahead. Let's get it in. Because I was just coming into the house. Let me transfer this call to I was just wondering if you could just hold on for one second because I was just coming into the house. Oh, before I start this video, let me say um, too right quick that it was a recording and um, I pretended as though I didn't get all the information so that I'll be able to hold on, keep them on, line, on, on the line as long as possible. So... Here goes. Let's get it. Let's go. Would you like me to provide you with more information about the program? I was just hold, I was just hold, wondering if you could just hold on for one second because I was just coming into the house. Here. Let me transfer this call to my manager who can better assist you and answer all of your questions. What, what has happened is she gets me, she'll get you on, someone will get you on the phone in the beginning. And then, uh, if you're going to stay on the phone, they'll get you to their manager so they can really try to scam you. So, what happened is, she once she called and, um, and everything, then it's like a recording. So, that's why I was not able to interrupt her to say, hey, you know, hold on for one second. But we're going to go ahead because her manager is coming on. Yeah. to my house with the bags and I didn't understand anything that she was saying. I was coming out my house with bags in my hand. How can I help you, sir? I believe he said his name was Mark Allen or Mac Mark Adam. I believe it's Mark Allen. Yeah, okay. As I said, I was um, just bringing groceries into my home when um, I when she came on and she was talking so fast. I and I was busy, so I didn't catch anything. If you can tell me, yes, I don't. I, uh huh. Let me tell you, Bob. Let me tell you. This is uh, Miss 
ของคุณอ้อมตามันอ่ะครับ from consumer financial services from Bank of America right consumer financial services debt free America Uh, yeah, this is the same guy. Consumer Financial Services Debt Free America. Okay, that's a very common scam right there. Uh, apologies for the static. It's been raining forty days, like forty days and forty nights here in North Carolina. I mean, it's been stormy and boom, boom, boom. So that's why I haven't been really able to do any videos. Um, because of the weather, the the sound, and you know if I was gonna do, I couldn't do any outside or inside because of the sound. But let's go ahead and finish this. Consumer consumer financial services. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, today you are getting a debt elimination on your credit card up to seventy to eighty percent. Okay. Whatever you owe right now on all this card gonna be eliminated. All right. And you are getting this phone call today just because you are a good consumer. You know you pay our bills on time, and even sometimes you try to pay more than the monthly minimum payments, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's still your balance are not coming down. Do you know why? Why your balance are not coming down? So I, I have. I I'm, I'm trying to put up groceries, and can you uh, tell me what it is that you need me to need, sir? I'm sorry. Could you tell me what you need? What you need? Because I, I I don't like I, I answering a lot of questions. You you, you keep asking me questions. So dumb. No, no, ma'am. I'm not asking you any question, ma'am. I just try trying to explain you, ma'am, uh, about this phone call, ma'am. Because right now, today you will be getting a debt elimination on your credit card, ma'am. Whatever the balance you owe right now on all this card gonna be eliminated. Will be wiped out. So you are no longer responsible yeah. to pay their balances anymore. Back to the lenders, ma'am. Right? Oh, okay. And, and why? How? how like oh, okay. And and why was I chosen? I'm sorry. Why was I chosen? Uh huh. Well, ma'am, uh, what's your job? What's your responsibility? You just pay. Now listen to the answer that he gives me. I'm asking him. How, why was I chosen? How, why am I the lucky one to get my debt relief? Three monthly minimum payments for after next three months, right? And after three months, your card gets eliminated for completely, okay? It is the only the minimum payment, not for more than the minimum, all right? Whatever the minimum payment required you owe, it is the only the minimum payment for after next three months, all right? And do you have any idea, like, how much do you owe collectively and all together, which you're trying to pay off? Do I have any credit cards on me? That's what he's asking me because he wants me to give him my credit card number so that he can look my account up. Tell me what the balance is and that's how and the, and how they are going to proceed. The lies, the lies, the lies that he tell. That's not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is if I was if I was vulnerable enough to give him my credit card number, he is going to use it, abuse it, and everything else. Okay? Let's continue. Oh yes, I have one card. I don't keep it I don't keep it on on me. I keep it uh put up, but I have it uh, I'm in, in my wallet. But um yeah, I have one card. Huh? I say how much do you owe on your credit card? Oh I owe probably between uh, between five and six thousand, I believe it is. Five or six thousand dollars, all right, ma'am. No issue for that. Today you will be getting a debt elimination on your credit card, ma'am. Whatever the balance you owe right now on all this card gonna be eliminated, will be wiped out, all right? So now, all I just want to make sure your reason, your card is not expired for the debt elimination. So could you grab the card handy and verify me the expiration date only in the month of the year? When is your card going to be expired? I can hold an idea. Okay, hold on for one moment, please. Sure. He can hold the line for me. He can hold the line for me to get scammed. So he can try to scam me. Males and female foreigners. 
Oh, well, I shouldn't just say foreigners, but they're the majority. The majority of the ones are foreigners. Okay, um, <clears throat> scam. But just stay tuned for the end of this message because I tell you, I thank God for His grace and mercy. I thank God for redemption because if it were not for that, I would have really let Him have it the way I. <laughs> the way I really wanted to. So I'm just, you know, passing time away, twiddly, twiddly dumb, uh, pretending as though I am looking for my credit card, a credit card that I'm going to tell him that I don't even own. But keep in mind, these people know oh, that what Visa starts with, what MasterCard that. numbers MasterCard start with. Nine so. Uh, that, uh, that's your Visa card or a MasterCard now? Oh, oh, oh which bank you have this credit card? Oh, I think it's a Visa. I'm sorry? I think it's a Visa. Visa card. Like, from which bank you have this credit card now that you're holding right now? So I'm trying at this point I'm trying to stall him so that I will be able to think of a uh, a bank <clears throat> that I know that they like to scam people through and um, some of those banks they love to see that you have Citibank they love to see Chase Bank even Discovery okay so they love to see all those things but he really think that he is going to get my credit card from my credit card number from me so he can go out and purchase things not today sir discovery i'm sorry don't own a discovery no that's not the discovery oh that's the chase the chase chase bank they love chase chase me the car right mm -hmm. that's your chase me the car right mm -hmm. all right yeah. that's now what i'm gonna do for you next i'm going to pull out a statement for your chase visa card and i will let you know the current balance you owe the last payment you made and the current interest rate that you are paying right now and accordingly i'm going to let you know how much going to be eliminated on your credit card accounts right now you hear that he's going to let me know he's going so in other words he has he knows i told him chase which i don't own a chase visa but I told, and, 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 and neither do I owe uh, five or six thousand dollars of a credit card. However, he's going to, um, he's so happy with that, that, he, that information. So he is going to pull up my file, pull up my statement and tell me what I owe and everything. He's going to give me the rundown on that. But careful, careful fam, because this is what he's going to do. He's going to ask me for the number. Now think about it. Think about it. If these people that call you with such nonsense as this, if they had all of your information, they wouldn't be calling you to get it, okay? And to use it against you. So, carry on. Okay. All right, and the same case with the card is start with the number four from left to right, correct? Oh, you can go ahead. You just gonna go ahead and pull it up. You say you have my information and stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to pull up the statement for your credit card. Now. Pull it up. Okay, go ahead. I'm pulling a statement for your Chase Visa card. Uh huh. Same Chase Visa card is start with the number four two six six five. Uh huh. Pull it up. Uh huh. Subscribers, because uh -huh. yes, 
Stop scamming people. Right now. Actually, why don't you call your mom and try to scam your mom and your daddy? Why don't you call them and, and believe they did? <laughs> Listen to me, ma'am. Right now, you're not speaking to your any kind of third party company, right? Yes, I am. I'm speaking to a scammer that's probably sitting somewhere in India. Let me tell you, these foreigners with this accent, okay, that call and scam, they have the nerve to be very proud, okay? They don't want you talking about their mothers. They don't want you um, attacking their egos. They cannot stand that, okay? They can't stand you attacking their egos. And they th actually think that they're very important, okay? So when you attack their egos, which is like their mat material things or, um, you know, things that you know that they, they, they really adore, <laughs> they get so upset, okay? So, <laughs> carry on. Yeah, that's what I'm speaking to. I know I'm speaking to a scammer in a call center, Mark. <laughs> what else would you like to say? What else would you like to say for my thousands of subscribers and viewers? Go ahead. I'm listening. Talk to me so you can see. Hello? Mm -mm. I think I lost Mark. Eight minutes and about 17 seconds. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. This gentleman. You're on. I You're know on. His voice. He calls You're on. Quite You're on. Often. As You're I on. said, just last week alone, I have deleted over 30 something scam uh, calls. So you can see this is a debt relief. They are trying to get your social security, and not your social security number, excuse me. They are attempting to get your credit card number. What they're telling you is they're going to be able to pay whatever you owe on your credit card off. If you give them the number, they'll pull up your file. Talk no. Fall for the banana. Your credit card number, and the tail pipe. And they're going to use it and they're going to abuse it. Another scam. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please be careful out there. I'm so glad I'm a Christian because... Whew. Thank you, Lord, for my words. You all have a blessed day, fly beautifully, fam. It's just irritating to know that some people fall for this scam and they're taken advantage of. You all be blessed. Thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. And as you can see, don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Let it be. <laughs> Let it be, let it be, just let it be, okay? And I can't get no copyright strike for that. I, I really pray not because I can't sing it like them. <laughs> but you all have a blessed day and be careful of scammers. And please check out uh, the following channels. Scammer Payback, Pierogi. Kit Boga, um, Jim Browning. Those are professional level scam baiters. And that's where I got this from because I got so sick and tired of seeing and hearing people getting scammed. But not only that, um, those gentlemen, they catch scammers in real time. Um, a lot of times they catch someone in real time, meaning 
uh, just as someone is about to get scammed, they are able to call that person while they're in the middle of being scammed and let them know that it is a scam. So, you know, because they have virtual machines and things like that and uh, voice changers and so forth. So, and they have um, saved many people from being scammed. And, I mean, you should just watch, just watch some of the ones as I just uh, spoke about. Well, who did, it, did I say uh, scammer payback? But just watch them, you know, check them out, you know. And... I'll talk to you all soon. I really thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. share. Did I say share? I want to thank you all for been, who's been sharing my views and who's been viewing them. I just thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing uh, my videos. And I just want you to know I love you for free. And y'all have a blessed day. Don't forget that subscribe button.